Texas, a consultant here at Valientis. In this video, I'll walk through how to create an approval workflow from start to finish. Being it's also the month of October, let's embrace the Halloween spirit and create a spooky theme for our workflow. Let's build a workflow that will go through the process of picking out your Halloween costume. Our approval in this situation will be the parent's approval. Let's get started. So in our project, to start building the workflow, we're going to click on the settings gear cog and then click on issues. And then on this page, we're going to scroll down to workflows. And we'll go ahead and click add workflow, create new, and then we'll give it a name and a description. And then we'll click create. And now that we have it created, I will go ahead and start adding our statuses. So our first status is going to be our beginning one, which we are going to do brainstorm and add. I'm just going to just drag them down to start with. And after brainstorm, we're going to select the costume. After selecting the costume, we are going to get parents approval. After parents approval, we can then purchase the costume. And after we purchase the costume, we will be waiting to trick or treat. And then once we trick or treat, we can sort the candy. And finally, we can say that Halloween is a success. So now I got all my statuses, so let's go ahead and take care of these transitions. So I want my first status to be brainstorm instead of open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this arrow and I'm going to drag it on top of brainstorm and I'm gonna hit save. So now my first status that it goes into is gonna be brainstorm when submitted. So I can go ahead and click and remove this open status because I don't need it. And I can go ahead and add my transitions. So from brainstorm, we'll go and select the costume and we're gonna say, choose your character. And then now after you select the costume, then we're gonna have to go to approval. So we'll say, need the parents approval. Go ahead and add. And then now what we're gonna do, so after we go to parents approval, if it's approved, we're gonna go to purchase costume. So we're gonna make this one approved. In order to have an approval status, you have to have two outs. You have to have the transition that'll go, that'll take the status to if it's approved. And then if it's declined, you have to have a status where it's gonna go to that. So if the parent's approval is approved, we're gonna go to purchase costume. If approval's declined, we're gonna go back to select costume. So I'll add that in there as well. And we'll call this transition declined. So if it's declined, it'll go back up to select the costume and then it goes back into approval. Eventually once approved, it'll go to purchase costume. So once we purchase the costume, then we will wait to trick or treat. And then after we wait, we can finally go trick or treating. And now Afterwards, we can sort the candy and Halloween's complete. So we'll say keep the best candy. And just like that, our workflow is now complete. Now, there are two things to note. Number one is that when you're configuring a workflow, initially they're going to be inactive. In an inactive workflow, when you make changes, they're going to automatically be saved. We'll take a look at in a few where we're editing an active workflow that you actually have to click to publish your changes. Another thing to note is that these approval configurations, they cannot be done when a workflow is inactive. In order to configure an approval set, your workflow needs to be active. In order to be active, it has to be attached to an issue type that's currently in an active project. So those are two very important things to note. However, to start the process, you can at least make sure you have your approved and declined transitions. That way they're super easy to set up and do. So. Now that we have all of these, let's go ahead and let's make an active workflow. So I'll come back to workflows and just to show you that where it is, if we go to inactive, 
and we can see right here Halloween it's currently not in use so let's go to my project that I want to put it in I'll go to project settings and then I'm going to scroll down to workflows actually before we do the workflow we actually have to make it an issue type I already went ahead and created a Halloween issue type so first I'm gonna go ahead and add that issue type in the project so I'm gonna click on actions and issue types and then I'm gonna take my Halloween issue type drag it over and click Save so now this issue type is available inside my project now that's available we can go to workflows and now we can click add workflow add existing and now we can select my workflow the only thing is when you're adding a workflow in a project like this is there is no search bar to be able to type in and then select your workflow you actually have to scroll to find your workflow so now that we found it I'll go ahead and click next and then now I have to assign it to the issue type I want Halloween costume to go to so I'll click on Halloween and click on finish and now we see up here I actually have to hit the hit publish in order to make changes so I'll go ahead and hit publish and it's just saying there's no issues to migrate so I'm free to go ahead and click and associate the workflow with the project and if there were any issues that needed to migrate over it would show you how many issues so since there's none I can just click refresh and acknowledge and now this workflow is a part of the project now let's go configure this approval so I will go back to our approvals and I'm going to refresh our page since we made changes and now you'll see if I go and type in the workflow we can see here that it's inactive and just to make sure it's not inactive if I click in inactive we can see here it's not listed so we'll go ahead into active and click on edit and it even tells you here that it's actually, it'll show you what projects it's in. So if you click on and hover, it'll tell you the project it's in. And you can see here, you know that's active because it's also saying that you're editing a draft workflow, which in an inactive setting, it won't. So now we can go ahead and we can configure our approval. So I click on the status that I want for approval. And now you can see here, we get this include approval step. So I'll click this checkbox and then I can select for number of provers. I can do everyone. That means anyone who's going to be in that field. I can select a specific number of people. So if I had more than one person and I wanted maybe out of two people, I only want one to approve. I can click that and only set one. Or I can click to set a specific number of people from each group I include to approve. But for sake of this, I'm just going to do everyone. And then I'm going to select my approver source. I'm going to do Jira field. And for ease of access of this demonstration, I'm just going to choose the default approvers field that Jira sets up for us. I'll go ahead and click next. And then here's where having our transitions already set up works for us, especially since we named them very easy. So if the transition is approved, we want it to go to the approved transition. And if it's declined, I want the transition to use the decline status. You also have the option when you can exclude approvers, you can do the assignee or the reporter. In our demonstration here, we probably don't want the reporter to be able to approve since they're the one who are submitting their costume. Therefore, we don't want them to be able to approve their own and bypass the adults. So now that we have that, we'll go ahead and click add. And now we have our approval step. So now what we'll go ahead and do is publish our draft. And then lastly, if I want to save backup copy, I'm going to click no and click publish. Now that we have our approval set up, there's still one more step we got to do. So we'll go back to our project. We'll go to our request type. And now we want to make sure that we switch over the workflow that we want our desired request type to be. We'll click replace with existing. And now we're going to go ahead and click on our workflow Halloween costume. And now we can see we have the workflow that we want and we'll click update. And then we're just going to have to map pre-existing statuses to new ones. So we'll have to do in brainstorm done will be Halloween complete. In progress we will select purchase costume right now there's only one issue in there which was just a test therefore there's nothing wrong with how we have it set now we'll go to request types and now we can do our test submission so we'll go ahead and what do you want to be for Halloween I want to be Batman I'll go ahead and send my request in so we can see now my request is in brainstorm and if I go to the portal 
I'll click on it and I can see here that my request was submitted. If we click on this, we can see the workflow. And now let's see the workflow in action. For the sake of this, I'm going to say that TechLex submitted this issue. That way I can put myself as the approver. So we'll go ahead and we'll go into select the costume. Now that we have and said that we want to be Batman, we're going to go ahead and need the parents approval. So now we're going to be left with this approval stage that's showing us that everyone from the approvers must approve. So we'll go ahead and add myself. And now we can see here that I have the option to approve or decline. So I'm going to decline just to show you that now it's going back to select the costume. So say uh, we'll do change of plans. I want to be Iron Man. Alright, so now I've changed my selection. So now we'll go ahead and go for the parents approval again. So now we can see here that, yep, this costume's good. I'll go ahead and approve that. So now we are at purchase costume. We can see here that we have approval is completed. And even from declined, when we've declined the first time, we'll also have that log of it here. And now I can go ahead and just complete through the workflow. So now we're waiting to trick or treat. We went trick or treating, we're sorting our candy. And now Halloween was a success. Do note that approvals in a workflow are only available and be able to be configured through Jira service management. They are not a feature in Jira software. In Jira software, you can utilize the workflow. However, it's not going to bring up an approval step. It'll just give you those transitions as the way to go to those next two statuses. As you can see, workflows can be fun to build. You can build workflows for specific use cases like I did here, or you can keep them more generic to share with multiple projects. Now that you've watched this video, you are an expert at creating an approval workflow. Have a happy Halloween, and thanks for watching.